if you are building a .NET application today, there are two trendy architectures competing for your attention. On one side, we have the longtime favorite clean architecture, and on the other, vertical slice architecture. Each one provides a route to a well-designed and decoupled architecture, but their approaches are significantly different. To help you discern the better choice, I have built the exactly same sample using clean architecture and vertical slice architecture. In today's video, we'll dive into a detailed side-by-side -side comparison of principles, advantages and disadvantages, the code, and of course, how to decide which one to use. It's not the goal of this video to be a detailed explanation of either of those architectures. By the end of our journey, you will have a clear understanding of which architecture aligns best with your project-specific needs. And now let's kick things off by unraveling the principles at heart of those two architectures. And let's start by vertical slice architecture. This architecture will mainly focus on having a feature-driven organization, also known as a slice. Each of those slices will be isolated from the others, but also it should be self-contained. Inside of that slice, it should leave most of the code that you need to achieve the goal of that feature, being, for example, database access code or HTML. So your slice will be self-contained. On the other end, with clean architecture, the main goals will consist on having a testable architecture and we'll be doing that through avoiding depending on a given technology, database, API, framework, whatever. And you can do that by enforcing the most important rule, that is the dependency rule. Every single dependency should point inwards. And it is those principles from vertical slice architecture and clean architecture that define their advantages and disadvantages. And if we look into those, vertical slice architecture will give you excellent encapsulation. Every single thing that is needed to achieve a given feature will be together and will depend on each other. So it's a perfect slice of your system that you can extract and take it wherever you want. You can delete it, whatever. It's also an excellent architecture if you want to favor the development experience. Why? Since you are always adding a new feature, you will avoid many merge conflicts, the possibility of breaking existing features is quite small, and the velocity to onboard someone into that project is amazing. All of that due to its isolation. Every slice will live isolated from the other ones. So it's kind of like having microservices inside of the same service. So you can bring some of those advantages into there. And that means that each slice may be implemented in a different way. And that will cascade to the disadvantages. Since every slice is independent, you may see a lot of duplication and also the complexity can creep up. After a while, with so many ways of doing things, you may get into a point where complexity will be hard to manage. You will see many different ways of doing the same thing, for example. But also, since with this approach, you tend to work with slices as a black box, your tests will tend to take a long time to run. And now let's take a look into advantages and disadvantages of clean architecture. With clean architecture, you will gain device independency. So you don't depend specifically on a given technology. I'm not saying that you will swap that technology at a given point, but you can swap it in the day-to-day -day for testing, for example. So it's extremely easy to write tests on top of this architecture. You can write really fast tests on the logic and then having a few integration tests to test those adapters to the devices itself. And clean architecture is heavily focused on having a strong domain model. So if you have a strong domain model, you may favor on having that in a specific place that the rest of the application can use. However, often clean architecture is used on simple examples, and on that case, it will be an overkill. It's also highly dependent on having a team with good skills on things like design patterns, refactorings, due to the complexity of the architecture itself. And that means that anyone joining your project will have a learning curve, obviously. But behind all of those differences, there's one thing in common, screaming architecture. Screaming architecture is one of the principles of clean architecture that if you look into it, you will see many similarities with vertical slice architecture. But also, if you look into vertical slice architecture, you will see that one slice might be clean architecture. So that means that you can learn from both and try to improve your architecture. And what's the difference in terms of code? If we look into this example, that by the way, you can grab it as a patron, you can find here side by side exactly the same feature, but one in a clean architecture approach and another one in a vertical slice approach. While in vertical slice architecture, you tend to have less projects, 
and you will find most code inside of folders that represent a given feature. In clean architecture, we tend to have a feature spread across multiple projects. I know you can do it in a single project and even in a single file, as far as you respect the dependency rule, but typically you will see at least three projects on most templates regarding clean architecture. However, if you pay close attention, you may see that I have here, for example, a domain folder or an infrastructure folder, because when you split things into slices, it doesn't enforce you a given structure inside of the slice. So I may achieve a slice with a single file, I might spread it across multiple multiple files. I might implement something that looks like clean architecture. It's completely up to me. The same way that when you go into the clean architecture one, you will see here a feature driven organization that looks like vertical slices. This is screaming architecture. So the main difference is that infrastructure code and for example, the API code or the domain code will live inside of the slice in one case. And in the other one, we'll spread that code across multiple layers. So while in the vertical slice one, we are coupling into the slice. On the other one, we have coupling into the layer. Now you might be asking, which one should I use? And I have five factors for you to drive your decision. The first factor is team experience. Vertical Slice architecture is a good architecture for a team without a lot of experience. Everyone can work on each slice without impacting each other. You don't impose a lot of design patterns and you don't depend a lot on design patterns to be productive. While on clean architecture, when the project starts to get complex, design patterns, good practices, all those skills are important to succeed. The second factor is the project size. If you are approaching a small container project, vertical slice architecture is for sure an excellent approach to go. Clean architecture is an overkill for most simple problems. The third factor is testability. Both of them offer good testability. However, clean architecture excels due to the business logic isolation. By doing that, you can have faster tests. However, if you have a pretty simple crude application, for example, vertical slice architecture is an amazing way to go because you don't have much logic to test besides the process of reading and writing data. The fourth factor is maintenance and scalability. With vertical slice architecture, you risk duplication. That is true, but it's a scalable architecture because you can bring more teams and more people and everyone is working on his feature without impacting too much on each other. However, clean architecture might be more time consuming, but it's a good way to manage complexity. And last and extremely important one is development time. If you are concerned with the time that it takes to close a given feature, the times that it takes to merge pull requests, the conflicts that you see every single day, the bugs introduced when you are adding a new feature, vertical slice architecture is likely the best tool that you have in your toolbox. However, clean architecture will pay off in the long run to maintain that system. If you want to access a decision matrix that explains every single of those factors, you can grab it as a patron. But remember that there's no one size fits all in architecture. The right choice depends on your project needs or even in your feature needs. So you may be combining both architectures if you need. You might use clean architecture, vertical slice architecture, or even hexagonal architecture, and you can know more about it right here. So let me know what you think about this. There's any other architecture that you would love to see me comparing side by side? I would love to hear from you.